In this video, I will be covering how the basics of Syncrify Client and a similar but slightly different application, Syncrobox, work. Syncrify is a multi-tier file synchronization software, meaning you need Syncrify Client to talk to Syncrify Server. The client portion is based on two different applications, Syncrify Client and Syncrobox. Both applications use the same engine underneath. The only difference, besides the obvious visual differences, is how the file transfer is triggered. In the case of Syncrify Client, a backup synchronization is triggered based on a predetermined schedule, whereas in Syncrobox, triggering occurs as soon as a file modification is detected. On our website, we have a separate video for Syncrobox, so in this video, I am only going to talk about Syncrify Client. To download Syncrify Client, I connect to my Syncrify server. If you have not installed Syncrify server, I recommend you do that before using the client. Here, I click the download client button in the top right to download the appropriate client for my operating system. For this video, I'm going to assume my client is on Microsoft Windows, which downloads a setup.exe file. After I finish the setup process, I can run the Syncrify client application. Two components are installed during Syncrify setup. The first component is a background service called Backup Monitor Service. I can access this service from the Services app in the Control Panel. The second component is the actual user interface. The background service is responsible for a few things. Triggering a synchronization job at a predefined time. Pinging the server once every 60 seconds, letting the server know its availability as well as communicating with the server in the background and processing any special request, for example, running an on-demand backup job. The user interface is used for specifying connection parameters to the server, modifying client-side configuration, specifying a schedule, and running a synchronization job manually. Now let's see how this works. I'm going to connect to my Syncrify server and run a small backup. First. I have to specify the connection parameters, which include the URL, where the server is running, a user ID, and password. The user ID and password are created within Syncrify Server's admin console by the admin account. Once I've entered everything, I can click this button to confirm the parameters are correct. Next, I specify the folders I want to back up. The easiest way is to drag and drop folders from Windows File Manager into this window. I could also add folders by clicking the right mouse button and selecting Add Folders and Files. This third tab is used to modify the synchronization schedule, some advanced options, and encryption. Notice that many configuration options have question marks next to them. Clicking these question marks will display some help regarding the field. For example, by changing the direction I can specify whether files are pushed, pulled, or both. On this tab, I can also specify a synchronization schedule. I can either select a daily schedule or use an interval schedule. For example, when using the interval schedule and specifying a value of 60, this will synchronize files every hour. And once I'm satisfied with every option, I can click Save and optionally run a manual backup. I see a log once the backup is complete, and since this is the first time running a backup, every file is transferred in its entirety. Subsequent backups will only transfer the blocks that were modified. Lastly, it's important to understand profiles in Syncrify. A profile basically holds the job description, its list of folders and files to backup, as well as its configuration settings. Basically, everything that we have just configured. When using Syncrify for the first time, it automatically creates a profile based on the machine's hostname. I can later create additional profiles by clicking this button here. Every profile you create can have a different schedule. They can also have a different list of files and folders and different configuration options. In Syncrify, there is no limit on the number of profiles you can have on any machine. That covers the basic understanding of how Syncrify Client works. On our website, we have many more videos for a variety of topics regarding Syncrify and our other products. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us at support at cinemetrics.com.